The Jockeys Employment Scheme is now in its 20th year and they've announced the nominees for this year's Richard Davis Achievement Award and the Channel 4 cameras went to meet them. My name is Michael Naughton. I was a jockey for 15 years. I rode 65 winners and my new career is product manager for Fine Equinity. My name is Niall Hannity. I rode for around 10 seasons and in that time I rode around 100 winners. Nowadays I'm a presenter on Racing UK and also a jockey's agent. My name is Keith Mercer. I was a professional jockey for eight years riding 195 winners. Now I study an accounting and finance degree. My name is Annabelle Armitage. I rode as a jockey for 15 years. I rode about 30 winners and I retrained as a physiotherapist. It's very tough, even at my level, very, very hard giving up something you've always dreamt of doing, but every step of the way, jets were there. We've developed fine equinity, we've developed a heart rate monitor uh, system for horses, and that includes doing heart rate, recovery rate, speed, split times, and stride. It's fantastic to be even considered uh, being a finalist. Obviously, this is something, it's, it's a, a position that I, I do, and I'm probably as passionate about this as I was about race riding. Jets were massive, like a lot of jockeys, I hadn't a clue what direction to go in. I tried a few different courses. Eventually I went on a media training course and, and really liked that. I look after a handful of flat jockeys. It's very busy out of the summer. There's lots of racing and you're trying to get them on the best rides. Uh, so it's good when they have a good day, you have a good day. And likewise, when they have a bad day, it's not so good. I'm not being able to ride again. I had to decide on a new career. And having decided that I was a numbers person and wanted to work in accountancy, Jets were very supportive in helping me come to Teesside University to study. University life is very different from riding and it's taken a while to get used to, but after a few months I did get used to it and, and now enjoy it. I love my job. For me, what I loved about the racing was the, the camaraderie of all the, 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 the people. Physiotherapy gives me that same sort of feeling. This award would would mean a lot to be recognised for the achievement that I've made to get to where I've got would, would be would, would mean an awful lot. No. So congratulations to the three finalists. Uh, Hayley, you're just sitting here watching that and you're just saying it's only when you think about retirement or go into retirement that you realise how important Jets is for jockeys. Yeah, I think the jockeys that are riding at the moment, you kind of in, you, you're going to ride forever, do you know what I mean? You don't even think about it or have time to think about it. It's just, it's yeah. not until you kind of think, I'm going to pack this in and you sort of start panicking, but Jets is brilliant, really good, that yeah. they sort of go down every avenue with you. Okay, and, and what are you going to do after today? You, you off to... South I'm going back to sleep for an hour, hopefully. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that, that's, the, that's the lesson how to prep yourself for an afternoon. The kids in future might not have to do that because, of course, from next week. Indeed. Next week, Saturday, the morning line with Tony McCoy, by the way, who will be presenting the awards for that uh, Richard Davis Achievement Award on the Sunday at the Paddy Power meeting. Tony McCoy will be on the sofa next Saturday for the morning line, which will be on air at 9 a.m. Hooray! Yeah. <laughs> Look at them, so happy. Look at their faces. <laughs> Not Hayley so much, because you, you sleep anyway. So, uh, We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll be looking ahead at Jumps Action, and it could be a great day for trainer Paul Nichols.